What? That's your favorite attorney, attorney Ali Booker. You already know what time it is. You write me via email, Booker, Booker Law Firm dot com. We bring it to the court of my public opinion, and I give you my opinion. You can't look at this as legal advice because I don't represent you. However, I'm going to be straightforward, just like I am with everybody who contacts me and who I work for. So, hey, you can stand on it. Without further ado, let's get a cracker laughing, y'all. They wrote me and they said, would it be possible to get emergency custody? My children are two years old and nine months old. The mother of my children has a history of child support, uh, COS cases and child endangerment cases. She stays from hotel to hotel and she prostitutes according to her parents, to pay for these particular rooms. A history of assault and also a history of domestic family violence. She also has an assault causing bodily injury and harm. She has a history of drugs. She took my kids out of my care without me knowing it, blocked me on all social media and on my phone. I do not know where she is or who she's around, who she has around my children. I fear for their safety and environment as she doesn't have a stable place to stay, nor the right support around her for a healthy environment for the children being so young. What do I do? Sir, you don't get involved with somebody like this to begin with. You know, I hate to say this because, like, I don't even know how to say this, but, like, sir, if somebody is struggling with that much, they have child endangerment cases, CPS case. You know, some people get CPS cases, it's ruled out, and it's their fault, whatever. This woman has a history of getting them and child endangerment. Plus, she's a prostitute. She has drug, a, a drug addiction, and she beats all people. Sir, you have to have known some of this or all of this when you got her pregnant. And then you're saying that she took your kids, your children. So there's more than one child that you had with her. So I'm going to do this, okay? One of my eyebrows is raised on your ass. And the reason why is because many times people think that it makes a lot of sense to come into court and bad mouth your But the first thing that goes through the judge's mind, any jury's mind who may be in the jury booth, which can happen in a family case, is, so what's your problem? How do you deal with it? Because if you've dealt with somebody for years that has all of these issues and those children are not in your care, nine times out of 10, eight times out of 10, you have a drug history as well. There's nothing that's wrong with you because you don't get children from someone like this and fail to go to court to get custody, okay? And then you're saying the children are missing. You don't know where these children are. She's living to her pose. Da 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 da. The first place that you always start to look for your children whenever they're yours is the school district. School districts and school. You can call the districts. You can find out where they're enrolled at. And that's how you start. The next thing you do is go to the school and get the school records, which is going to show their address and where they're located. Because the parents have to put an address down for the children. That's how you find your children. Um, but so I will say that you need to start off with coming out of the gate, filing a custody order against her. And I'm a little bit afraid to tell you that because I don't know what shape your ass is in. I really don't because it's just, this is too much and you have more than one child with her. So when you're dealing with somebody that has all these issues and you have more than one child, I'm feeling like you, you smoking on the dope with them. You, you be mad with her. It's, you allow her to practice to do something because none of this is making sense as to how she's just spiraled downhill once she's no longer with you. I think these are behaviors that she had, and I think they were more controlled behaviors when she was with you. But I think your relationship was toxic as hell. Made the gap on that. And the reason that I think your relationship was toxic as hell is because these children are still young, and you write me instead of running to CPS shit ass so though. If you feel like your children are not in a safe place, you can always call the police for a welfare check, okay? Um, but, sir, I'm not understanding what's going on. Either you are very, very square, okay? Very, very green, or you're lying. But I'm going to let you know that go ahead and file your case against her, but it's going to be an eyebrow raised against you. It's going to be an eyebrow. It's no way you can get around that eyebrow. You're going to need to explain not how bad she is, but how, why in the hell you looked with her for the amount of time that you were with her and how your children got back in her hands and got stolen from you and how you never got a, a court order. That stuff you're going to have to explain along with talking bad about her. The talk about her is not going to convict anybody to just get the kids up. They don't know if they're putting them in a worse situation. And then you also need to check with your mother and her parents because neither one of y'all may be fit. And this may, need, this may very well be a grandparent case. Next case. So, honey, I know that's not what you want to hear, but I'm not going to lie to you about the way Take your time, I made that call. I'm locked up and facing charges. Ooh.
gon' find these cases for me I called with the law firm, they got the job done They were right there for me For more information, contact the Booker Law Firm at 713-292-2225